What is good guys, it's your boy Stock J back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a quick technical analysis of AMC stock. I'm going to talk about the overall price movement and what happened today. I'm going to go over some Ortex data, some dark pool data and some call options data before I give you guys my stock price prediction for Monday and the near term future for AMC stock, ticker symbol AMC. But before I get started, I have to mention two quick things. First off, I'm not a financial, legal or taxation expert, so don't take this as financial, legal or taxation advice. And also if you can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. So I'm going to see the entire community as a whole. With that all said and done and out of the way, let's get on with the video so looking at it from a technical standpoint i know many of you are sad for seeing this but amc is currently down once again it's down over 3.95 percent for the day and looking at at what actually happened today if you look at the one day chart it started off having this beautiful run up and it looked really really good at the very very beginning the first 30 minutes were just beautiful before it had this giant 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 fall just like this now for stocks or a stock like amc Falls like this are not very, very common, and they shouldn't happen the way they did. Especially if you look at the five-day chart, you could see this short ladder attack right over here. It's most likely that is what happened. So I just want you guys to know that this is the result of not only some of the new people coming in selling, but this is also the result of blatant manipulation, which is why we are fighting. However, guys, I kid you not, do not put your heads down. Keep your heads high and up because we are not quitting. We are not losing. We're still doing well. I'm going to show you exactly why I still believe I'm still super, super bullish for AMC and all that good stuff. But once again, looking at the technical analysis, there was high volatility right over here at this point and AMC was in the $45 range looking all right and it looked like it was ready to actually maybe have some good price movements but they ended up happening on the downside where AMC ended up having one more run before it dropped at the very very end closing at $44.22 once again down 3.95% looking at a Bollinger uh, pattern right over here we could see that it made tons and tons of significant movements typically on the downside and that's a little bit sad because look at this closing it's absolutely significant this is almost two standard deviation away from the mean two standard deviations away that's absolutely crazy okay this means that it had a crazy crazy red closing and this is just a total abnormality this is not something that's natural that should be happening to a stock like amc especially because of how many people are buying and holding it so that to me does not make sense as amc has super strong support so i like i said before guys it's another key indicator that this stock is being manipulated like crazy but looking at some rsi data we can see the same exact thing happen amc was trying to fight its way up and up and up and up and there was so many moments especially as reference bands or these reference levels went a little bit lower uh, below the 25 below the 30 that's really really sad that this is happening it's sad it's sad i know i totally understand that but when i've been telling you guys that i'm still super bullish for amc and i believe in this company not just for the near term but the long term as well think about what would have happened if we time traveled okay six months ago where was AMC? It was at $10 a share. And if I had been right here telling you that AMC had huge potential, I would have been right because AMC is way higher than 10 bucks a share. What about when it was in the $25 range? And I told you that. A lot of you would probably think I was crazy if I told you went back when AMC was 25 that I would see AMC going to the 50s. People thought I was crazy and people absolutely thought it was insane for anyone to make that claim. So when we look at the three month chart, look at wh where AMC was. AMC was at a low of $28 and we're not at 28 guys. We're still dropping, but we have lots and lots of support around 43 and $44. So I want you guys to know that there is manipulation that's going on, but I still am very, very bullish for this company, both near term and long term. I do think that eventually we should be breaking out and that's what would happen. However, there's an external thing out there known as manipulation. Let's just look at the extent of this manipulation. So looking at some Ortex data right over here, you can see that the short interest is reported at 18.46% and I almost guarantee you that this is not correct, okay? Even though this is what Ortex is showing based off 85% of the floats, or at least the confirmed floats, it does not account for synthetic shares that are out there. Now, why do I think that there are synthetic shares out there? Well, there's another possibility that actually is a key indicator of that being true. Look at the short volume percentage, guys. It has been, whoops, it has been absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy over the past couple of days. Look at it like last week, okay? 
last week or like two weeks ago it was in the 30 to 40 percent range this week we're looking at 57 60 60 57 percent it's absolutely crazy so the short volume percentage is what percentage of the total volume is short and that i want that just shows guys that amc is heavily heavily shorted right now however as you guys know they cannot do this forever they might be able to keep it up for a month but eventually they're gonna have to drop it because even if they try to manipulate it there's only so much they can do because they are just digging their grave even deeper so i do predict that in the upcoming weeks the short volume percentage is going to drop a little bit and amc will have more and more runs in the upside direction but what i'm trying to tell you is the fact despite the fact that 57 percent of the total volume is short volume and if you look at the volume for today it was at 66 million so that's a little bit higher than where it was yesterday but out of the 66 million once again we could see that yesterday it was at 57 percent and today it must be in the 60s 60 percent of that volume was just short volume then you have to account for the fact that 62 percent of the trades happen on the dark pools which could account for so many sketchy things such as more shorting and other things that are going on but I just want you guys to know that there are many, many sketchy things going on with this company. There's clear, clear, clear manipulation that we keep on seeing. I mean, just look at this this closing okay it does it does not make any sense. How is that when we were getting ready to push AMC up to forty five dollars and even higher and higher and higher? How on earth could it just drop straight down? even lower from where it started how on earth could it have this absolutely significant drop especially because it's friday R remember what i showed you guys yesterday there were over a hundred thousand calls in the money expiring at fifty dollars and the hedge funds did whatever they can these shorts did whatever they can to stop amc from reaching that level there are currently fifty three thousand calls in the money expiring at forty five dollars and 4.2 million shares available to be borrowed which is why that may have contributed to more and more short positions being created and just pushing amc down like crazy but i just want to let you guys know guys that i am not necessarily scared or worried i am obviously frustrated that this is going on in an open company like amc it's very very frustrating and sad but i'm still very very bullish for amc now my predictions tend to be accurate based off technicals but when you account for external things out there external things such as the manipulation such as all the dark pool activities such as the short volume exploding spontaneously my predictions are going to have nuances and they're not always going to be right because i cannot predict what the hedge funds are going to do exactly i can tell you that they're going to try to bring it down but i don't know exactly how much you know how many trades are going to happen in the dark pools i don't know i can't tell you everything perfectly so my predictions are not always perfect however based off this technical analysis we could see that amc should be set for an, more runs in the upside because it had a crazy red week this week now in order for amc to have a big week we do need a big increase in the volume and i do believe i still believe that in the upcoming weeks we're going to see more and more volume coming especially as the hype builds up so the volume is most likely going to go up but i want you guys to know that there are lots of apes that are still panicking now i know that there are a core at least three million of us who are not selling however there are some new apes that came in and when they see this come they're going to be panicking like imagine you're a new ape okay you entered right over here when amc was around 48 to 52 dollars you're super super excited you think amc is going to squeeze very very soon or whatever and then all of a sudden you bought amc and now it's down to 44 dollars and you're just straight up panicking i mean it would be very scary if you were in that position so i have sympathy for those people i know it's tough i know it's sad however guys like i said in my previous videos the squeeze is still on the table and the shorts have not covered their positions this is not the end because once again just zoom out of amc and you can see that we are still on this upward trend However, there has been a bit of a nuance right over here just recently, but that's due to manipulation and crazy, crazy things that are going on. With that said and done, guys, I do believe that we're going to continue on this trend. And for next week, I do believe AMC has very, very, very strong support around $43. The super, super strong support is there, and I highly doubt that AMC is going to drop below that. And if anything, I do think AMC is going to go up and up and up and up. So if AMC has a, an uptake in its overall volume, and a lot of people just keep on buying it and buying it and buying it it is possible for amc to come back to the 50s by next week however i can't guarantee that because of how manipulated it is but you guys have to look at a pattern okay look at the short volume percentage 
these hedge funds, these shorts, they can't like increase their short volume every single day. They don't do this forever. They don't have that much power. Okay. It's very, very difficult for them to just every single day because it does depend on how many shares are available and even if it is synthetic shares they can't just create an unlimited amount of synthetic shares there's no way they're able to do that because so what i'm trying to tell you is you could see that the short volume percentage was high and then it dropped and when it dropped that's when amc tended to have a lot more price movement a lot more volume and you can see that it, as it goes up they're inversely related so pretty soon guys in the upcoming weeks i believe that this short volume percentage is going to drop when it drops, just like how we had the runs that happened recently, when the short volume percentage begins to drop, that's when AMC is going to have, it's going to continue on the upward trend. But you have to give it time. You have to be patient. There was once a time where the short volume percentage was high for almost a month or around three weeks. So far, it has been on this high for about, I would say, a week and a half. So it might, may go on for another week, maybe up to two weeks, but that's the longest I've ever seen the short volume that high. So within the next two weeks, we should see AMC come up to its $50 range again, or go even higher to the 60s and 70s and so on and so forth. We should see that happening in the next two weeks. For next week, we should see AMC have lots and lots of volatility, but it is dependent on what the shorts are doing as well. So guys, do not lose your faith. We have to remain calm, collected and cool with that said guys i'm still super super bullish for amc i do think we're going to hit the 60s in the upcoming weeks it's just going to require patience and a lot more volume which i believe is going to come up soon but you just have to be patient okay if you told me one year ago when amc was at a dollar 90 cents that amc would be at 44 dollars, i would think you're crazy people would think you're crazy to actually think that if someone told you that you know, AMC would hit $72 when it was at 20, people would think you're crazy. So if you zoom out, we're still doing well. It's just that there are crazy things that are happening and you have to be strong and patient. So with that said and done, guys, I want to thank you so much for listening. I really hope you guys have a great weekend and I really want you guys to get ready for the big moves that are going to come in the upcoming weeks most likely you just have to be patient the bullish cycle will perpetuate and we are strong we are the apes and we are not quitting we have the advantage with that all said and done guys i gave you what my prediction of what i think is going to happen on friday and the near-term future for amc and from that point i'm just going to sign out so thank you once again and i'll see you tomorrow for a new video i'm still very confident in amc and i'm not giving up we're not giving up either thank you once again and peace out